Some mistakes cost millions of dollars to correct. It's true, some errors have disastrous and expensive results, yet others are just plain hilarious. But the learning experience as a result of a huge failure is likely the most valuable takeaway depending on your attitude. Sometimes the only thing you can reap from a mistake is the lesson you've learned. You're gonna learn a lot from these videos, like how not to unload a truck full of beer, or how to navigate roller skates on the job, and how not to start a raging wildfire. And we're here to teach you. Here are 15 employees making the biggest mistakes at work, part two. Number 15. Crate Challenge This unfortunate but hilarious clip shows three men entering the back of a van and locating some crates. They were given the job to unload crates of beer, but didn't think the process through. At first, everything appears to be going to plan. Next step is to remove the crates from the truck, a job that requires the ramp at the back of the vehicle to be lowered to the ground. A forklift parked just alongside the men could have potentially been an alternative way to remove the beer safely. But we don't know whether the two men consider these options while pausing briefly and looking at each other. Moving forward with the task ahead of them, the pair decide to wing it and pull the crates one last time. And wouldn't you know it, the weight of the beer results in the stack toppling forward towards these unlucky workers, who react by trying to hold it back with their hands. However, there's little they can do. All they can do is get out of the way and jump to safety as the beer smashes against the ground. They ended up smashing every bottle. Hopefully, the expense won't come off their paycheck. The video concludes with the men sheepishly approaching the broken bottles and making a start with the cleanup job. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14 bath time. Getting a job at McDonald's is a really great idea, especially since being able to say you once worked there is worth a whole lot to future employers. But we're going to assume that this dude doesn't have a job anymore. This strange and spontaneous TikTok video shows a McDonald's employee taking a bath in the restaurant's dishwashing area, all while fully clothed. The short video shows the worker sitting in the suds of the large restaurant sink. The bather still has his McDonald's uniform on. He even dunks his head underwater as onlookers film and laugh along. Perhaps more than one person will be losing their job on this day. Clearly the manager was nowhere to be found. But did you know that McDonald's is known to be quite a good employer? The corporation really knows how to take care of their employees. Great benefit programs, great work-life balance programs, flexible times, mandatory sabbatical every 10 years. Overall, a great environment and a great company to be a part of. These staffers might be letting off some steam, and this dude is loving his bath. At one point, the person filming zooms in on the man's shoes, which he still wears while in the makeshift bath. His shoe seems to be coming undone in the water and ripping apart. Maybe it's a ritual for new employees. A McDonald's bubble bath, though probably not. Number 13, Sleepy Sandwich Worker. We've all had one of those days at work where we just wish we were back home catching up on some much needed sleep, but this sandwich maker did not have the option to sleep in. Subway is one of the biggest fast food chains in the United States with over 23,000 locations across the US alone. The big boss won't be happy about this one. A Subway employee was filmed slumping forward into the sandwich while she was adding toppings, nodding off while she was in the middle of making it. In the clip, the fast food worker is seen preparing a foot-long sub for a customer as soothing music plays in the background. The customer films her sprinkling a topping from a container onto the sandwich when her hand stops halfway down the bread roll. She slowly begins to slump forward while still standing up, and her face gets closer and closer to the counter. First, her subway hat touches the sandwich, then her face, which is covered in a blue face mask. Some people speculated whether the woman suffers from narcolepsy, a chronic sleep disorder which can make people fall asleep without warning, while others suggested she could have been medicated. Maybe she was working a double shift. The video was uploaded online and has millions of views. Number 12. Super Fast Food Sonic was born in 1953 in a small town in Oklahoma. Now it's grown to include over 3,500 locations in 44 U.S. states. It's famous for its burgers, fries, onion rings, and slushies. It's a fan favorite. 
Sonic workers used to all roller skate to your car to bring you your food. That since changed but holds up as an option for employees who want to brave those wheels. However, these poor employees just couldn't get the hang of these roller skates. So what's it really like to work at the famous drive-in and how many wipeouts have happened on the clock for those who do skate? Turns out, a lot. Car hops are the heart and soul of Sonic. It's a unique position for a fast food restaurant since most places are just drive through or dine-in only. But you gotta have skills before you strap on roller skates. Popular fast food establishments like Sonic can get pretty hectic. Speed is an important skill as a Sonic employee. Balance is key too. The customer buzzes in, then whoever's taking the order is expected to answer within just a few seconds and take the order within another short amount of time. Then the kitchen's timer started and staff got two minutes to have the food cooked and clocked out. Then this happens. Number 11. Barista lands in hot water. Juana Martinez and her brother arrived at this drive through at Starbucks in Lakewood, California, where the mother of three then accused the barista of taking her credit card details on New Year's Day and the military wife captured the moment she confronted the employee for making a copy of her credit card and spending $200 at a local grocery store. The busted employee then admitted to the theft. She tells the 19-year-old barista that she was caught on camera trying to buy groceries with the stolen car details. Martinez added that the Starbucks worker had taken her card with her while she claimed to need more receipt paper and was gone for around a minute. But when she returned, she did not have receipt paper. The following day, Martinez received a text about the transaction at the grocery store. When she called, an employee there described the woman who attempted to buy the groceries. It was the barista, caught red-handed, and the young worker immediately admits her crime and begins apologizing profusely. The clip starts with Martinez's brother asking her what she's going to say to the cashier. She replies, we're going to get even. That's what we're going to do. Mission accomplished. Number 10. Flaming Hot Pizza the craziest pizza of all is in Hoboken, New Jersey. I had to try it. The owner makes crazy stuff like cheese pie with tacos, guacamole, and sour cream. And that's just the start. Welcome to Tony Bologna's. However, this poor pizza maker underestimated the heat. And you know what they say, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. On one hand, the pizza caught fire and thankfully the restaurant did not. The employee successfully extinguishes the pizza fire using the pizza box and a few punches to choke the flames. But the strange part is he slides the destroyed pizza into the delivery bag anyway, and we assume the food got delivered. So he did save the eatery from burning down, but we're thinking he probably should have remade that pizza. But then again, Tony Bologna's is not your typical pizzeria. Nothing is done normally. Mike Hawk, the founder, has unconventional ideas like the taco pizza. The 30-pound, $80 monster is a force to be reckoned with. Assembling the pie is real work. You make a ring of tacos around the crust and then spoon a pool of guac onto the center. A drizzle of sour cream and a horseradish crema are the final touches. It might sound like an abomination to pizza, but it's an undeniably delicious mashup. We're wondering what the customer thought of their pizza delivery. Number 9. Suez Canal Nightmare the Ever Given is a 1,312-foot ship weighing 200,000 tons with a capacity of 20,000 containers operated by a company called Evergreen Marine. It became stranded after running aground, lodged sideways across the Suez Canal, blocking traffic for nearly a week. And within a few days of this epic traffic jam on water, there were 369 ships stuck waiting to pass through the 120-mile canal on either side of the blockage. However, they were able to free the stranded cargo ship. It took 13 tugboats and the removal of thousands of pounds of sand to do so. And six days! At first, a gust of wind was thought to be to blame, and however, an investigation would be needed to determine whether technical or human errors were the culprit. Initial data indicated that the canal's revenues were taking a $15 million hit for each day of the blockage, holding up a $9.6 billion of trade along the waterway each day it was stranded. That's one huge mistake. The two sides involved have publicly traded blame on who controlled the speed of the ship in the canal at the time of the incident and who decided to enter the canal despite heavy winds and the number of tugboats present to escort the ship. Looks like heads will roll on this one. Number 8. Airport Shenanigans A group of employees from Fresno Yosemite International Airport lost their jobs after they went viral with a video showing them cutting loose at work. 
We're pretty sure they didn't want that to happen, but hey, the video was uploaded to TikTok and this platform is all about shenanigans. The plan for the day was already done. All the luggage was taken care of. All of our duties were done, so we decided to make a little video. Dan and Credo, one of the stars of the video, told press, In the video, one member of the ground crew is seen shouting into a traffic cone before several colleagues jump out of a baggage cart and dance. The group also busted a few more moves inside the passenger area. Internet gold. The employees said they had about 30 minutes left on the shift, were done with work, and decided to have some fun. Little did they know the airport management didn't see the fun in it. These staff members didn't hear from their bosses until the video started to go viral online. No harm done, but that didn't stop Fresno Yosemite International Airport from slamming the inappropriate behavior. The airport is working to retrain its staff on appropriate behavior and to prevent these types of events in the future. But we can't help but think that these TikTokers make work look fun. Number 7. Slime Eel Explosion a vehicle in Oregon carrying a fleet of the eel-like creatures spilled its load everywhere. And if you didn't know, they're called hagfish. And they're not only slimy, they also produce slime when in crisis as a self-defense mechanism. And 7,500 pounds of the sea creatures spilled out onto the interstate. So not only were they slithering creatures to corral, it's the mucusy slime that would be a complete nightmare. The transfer of weight caused one of the containers to come off the truck bed and fly across the highway, police said. The other containers then separated from the bed and spilled onto the highway. The flatbed completely separated from the frame of the truck, but nobody was seriously hurt, thank goodness. It's safe to say the hagfish did not fare so well. They were en route from the hagfish fisheries of the Pacific Northwest to the plates of foodies in South Korea. Yeah, people eat them. But for now, they're in the mucus-covered hands of the fire department that was tasked with cleaning up the mess. When any part of your workday involves dealing with a spill as disgusting as this, you might want to consider a new career path, because cleaning up this mess just has to be the worst job ever. Number 6. Workplace Romance Clearly, this lonely fellow had some extra time on his hands, so he turned his work site into a dance floor to bust a move with his wheelbarrow. And we've got to admit, it's a very hilarious and creative way to brighten up a workday. In fact, we like to see more people dancing with wheelbarrows. These days, people spend the bulk of their time at work, which makes the temptation to start an office romance strong. After all, these are the people you see every day. You have a lot in common with them. Clearly, these two were made for each other. When you spend this much time with someone, you get to know them on an intimate day-to-day -day level. You get a feel for their intelligence, personality, and ethics, and this can create a type of chemistry that could lead to something more. The chemistry in this video is undeniable. A 2018 survey of more than 650 professionals across a wide range of industries found that 52% have engaged in some form of romance with a co-worker, from a random hookup to a long-term relationship. Clearly, this isn't just a crush. The connection between man and wheelbarrow person is a sight to behold. Number 5. Border Agent Starts Fire Shot on April 23, 2017, this clip shows a target with the words boy and girl written on it in the middle of the desert near Green Valley, Arizona. We hear a gunshot and the target explodes, revealing a blue cloud. Congratulations! The gender reveal goes south almost immediately though, igniting the surrounding brush. And it gets worse, the flames spread to a nearby national forest and burned 46,000 acres owned by the state of Arizona federal agencies and private landowners. Oh boy, what a disaster. The expectant dad had packed the target with a highly explosive substance and shot it with a high-powered rifle, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office. The target was supposed to burst pink or blue to reveal to excited guests the gender of the unborn baby. The video released by the U.S. Forest Service shows the moment when the gender reveal party goes horribly wrong. The man who shot the target, an off-duty U.S. Border Patrol agent, pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor violation and was sentenced to five years probation. He also was ordered to pay $8,188,000 in restitution. That's an expensive party, Officer Dickey. He immediately reported the fire, cooperated with the investigation, and admitted that he started the blaze. That a boy. Number 4. Waiter Slips Up Angela Dorothea Merkel is a German politician serving as Chancellor of Germany since 2005. She served as leader of the opposition from 2002 to 2005 and as leader of the Christian Democratic Union from 2000 to 2018. 
She's the first female chancellor of Germany and described as the de facto leader of the European Union and the most powerful woman in the world. But sometimes accidents like this just happen. The German chancellor got a little more beer than she bargained for when she attended a party in the north of the country. An unlucky waiter managed to tip five glasses of beer down her back. The reaction around her is less controlled, with a woman in the background gasping and holding her hand to her mouth while the guilty waiter swears loudly. But Angela quickly regains her composure, however, and smiles as various aides and waiters rush to clear up the mess. And she was seen shortly afterwards raising her glass. The waiter, identified only as Martin D., said he was not at fault over the incident, which happened at the Christian Democratic Union's Ash Wednesday meeting. But we would disagree. The poor server clearly tips the tray of beers as he reaches down to pass the chancellor her beer. Instead, she got five. Number three, the wrong house. This demolition company had been hired to demolish a property in Dallas, Texas, but a blunder led to workers knocking down the wrong house. Whoops, how does this even happen? The building reduced to rubble was a 1923 craftsman house which had been inherited by Jeremy Winninger after his friend died in 2018. It was known in the neighborhood as the Pink House. Mr. Winninger had just begun renovating the house too. He got a call that a bulldozer was on the property and the home was being leveled. Workers nearby told the company the property had vagrants and was vacant. It was also similar in appearance and condition to many of the properties that had been demolished on Richard Street, the owner said. But still, that's quite a huge oversight. The owner of the demolition company said it was the first time his company had demolished the wrong building. The company has apologized after accidentally tearing down the Heritage House. It stood in this historic neighborhood for almost a century. The owner said he hopes the resolution will honor the sentimental value of the 97-year-old craftsman-style home. Number 2. McDonald's worker has had enough. This McDonald's employee visibly jumps and looks startled before tossing the customer's credit card back at him and throwing the entire large soda through the car's window. And for good reason. Revenge! As seen in video of the incident, two men roll up toward the drive through window to pick up their order. As the woman reaches out to hand them their drink, the driver loudly beeps the car's horn to scare her. For what? The soda soaks the whole interior of the car and the driver's entire outfit. The customer then attempts to throw it back, but the employee is too quick and has already forcefully slammed the drive through window. It was all in good fun for the two pranksters. They laughed and didn't seem too upset by the practical joke gone wrong. That's what happens when you prank. They get kind of mad, one of the men says. The men who have a YouTube channel where they post clips of their hilarious pranks later posted a follow-up to the fast food escapade in response to a lot of negative comments. People thought these guys were jerks to the poor McDonald's employee. It's not a clever prank, but it was just for fun, one of the men said. Until we harm someone, you can't get mad. Well, she was. Number 1. Precious Cargo It's safe to assume the captain of this ship did not see this coming. The container ship One Apis lost 1,816 cargo carriers after it was rocked by a violent storm in the Pacific Ocean, approximately 1,600 nautical miles northwest of Hawaii. According to the ship officials, weather at the time of the cargo loss was reported as wind force 4 on the Beaufort wind scale with a long high swell. Weather maps show that the vessel faced waves of up to 35 feet high. It's no wonder this happened. The loss included 64 dangerous goods containers, 54 with fireworks, 8 containing batteries, and 2 filled with ethanol. Problematic to say the least, the vessel arrived in Japan 8 days later, where a full safety inspection was carried out. The full investigation took a look at the vessel's routing, loading, and equipment so that no such loss occurs again. When all was said and done, the incident is described as the second biggest cargo loss in shipping history. When you drive a ship this big, loaded to the gills with massive cargo carriers, you can imagine the pressure to travel from A to B without incident. So much about that job's success is dependent on factors that are out of our control, the weather and, of course, the mighty sea. Hey, mistakes happen, we get that. We're only human, after all. We can't help but love an epic fail. Stick around if you want some more, and don't forget to like and subscribe.